Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to make some Easter tags for spring and Easter for my girls and um, I had all these scraps because I was making some stencils and I decided to use them up. So this is what I'm doing is cutting a whole bunch of different um, shapes and different sizes of tags um, so then I can make a bunch of different little gift tags and stuff like that. So here I have my tags ready and I'm deciding to do as um, draw some bunnies. Um, it's kind of funny because I was using this paper to make a stencil, big stencil for a paint class and then I'm making little miniature bunny stencils with the scraps so I thought that was pretty cute. So I'm just making silhouettes of bunnies in different po positions so then I can make these cute little spring tags for my girls. So now I'm cutting it out. I have a sharp blade on here so then I'm not having to put too much pressure or slip because I'm pulling too hard. Um, I don't have to put that much pressure on it. So here's these pieces. I'm keeping those for maybe future masks. I can even add them onto cards. I can do whatever with them. And um, I can use these little pieces here as stencils to pencil in on stuff. So that's what I'm doing actually. I'm going to be using the scrap part here for a stencil, little mini stencil for the bunnies to go on some masking tape so then I can use that as a mask. I drew out these bunnies and I'm just doing a black marker here so you guys can see it better. 
because it's so hard to see pencil on the video. And then I just cut out the bunnies exactly the same way as I cut out the paper and it's even less pressure with the tape. And uh, like I said, you know, make sure your craft knife is sharp so then you don't hurt yourself because dull, you're adding more pressure because it's not cutting and then you end up um, pulling it in directions to make it work too hard and you just end up hurting yourself. So that's better to have it nice and sharp. So there's one bunny. I'm throwing it on a tag and then I'm just uh, continuing here with a couple other bunnies, putting them on a the tag and then I'm going to have lots of ways to play with it. So I only do a few tags here but you can do use your imagination go wild with it and um, use your inks, use your sprays. The sprays didn't quite work so well with this because they were kind of clogged and I was too close but you can kind of get a little bit of a distance, work it better. I was kind of blopping too much. My, my sprays were clogged and you know how when they are clogged sometimes they splat out big blops. That's what was happening with mine. <laughs> here I'm just using some ink, Stampin' Up ink. This is water soluble ink but it's fine and I was trying to use different sprays just to show you you can use sprays as well but it wasn't working but I ended up getting some on there but it kind of blocked. But you get the point. Um, I really like using the ink over top. That was nice with the sponge, the makeup sponge. So that worked really well. Um, but I ended up using all three of these tags anyhow, even though they weren't perfect. I think that sometimes that is the greatest thing about art. It's not always perfect, especially when you're doing mixed media. And um, I think it looks really cool. So here I'm just masking. You see that I sprayed a couple of sprays for that lower bunny, the blue and yellow. And I even used some inks on the edges here, green get his edge and then I just tap this one with a little bit of black to get the very very edge dark dark so it's just playing with it and having a lots of fun like I said I think this one was the one see they didn't quite turn out perfect but hey I just used a little bit of um, pencil crayon on there after two to outline my bunnies so that was fine you can use whatever you want I decided to use something different today and use pencil crayons um, other than Tusca pens I wanted a bit of a softer black than uh, rather than a harsh black and here is my other one that's all I decided to do all uh, the ink on here but then I ended up spraying on here anyways because I want to prove to you guys that I can do it without making a big mess <laughs> and it bleeding too much underneath my bunny. So I was uh, on a mission there. And there is my black ink, permanent ink, just to go around my edges. Um, the one thing that I had done that I did not do on the video was I backed it all up afterwards with um, cardstock, like black cardstock to make it nice and thick and to look really cool. So you'll see that at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Check out um, my crafting group with Nikki Parr, International Crafters. It's been a really great, fun group to be in. And yes, I have all the links below for our Nikki Parr and International Crafters so you guys can check that out. I hope you guys enjoy this little um, quick idea I had to make some Easter um, tags and maybe give your own a try. You can do any kind of shapes. It doesn't have to be bunnies or eggs, but it could be anything um, to make a little mask and enjoy and have fun. Bye friends for now.